The students of Northwest University Mafiken campus have taken to the streets to showcase their dissatisfaction regarding the South African political system. However, we have Tiamo on the ground who is going to be analyzing and assessing the situation for us. Tiamo, how is the situation going so far? Good afternoon, Sebi and the viewers at large. I am reporting live from the streets of Mafiken. As you can see behind me, it's a bit chaotic. They are in disagreement of whether South Africa must remain a multi-party system or switch to a two-party system. And no, I have not heard anything so far, but I was made aware by one of the students that a podcast is about to take place any moment from now on. So, I guess we will hear from them what they have to say. We will definitely be following this story. Thank you. Just how we roll Our topic for today is an interesting one as it stirs emotions and vast opinions. The South African political system is of constitutional democracy with a three tier system of government, which is the national, provincial, and the local government. The president serves as both head of state and head of government. The South African democratic system stems from the country's history of colonialism, apartheid, and the struggle for freedom. It's been almost 20, 29 years of independence now, yet up to date, the South African development is moving at a very slow pace. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do you not think that it is finally time for South Africa to switch to a true political party system? Absolutely not. I do not think that the two party system will advance the South African democracy because it eliminates the idea of having 100% representation of personal ideas in a sense that one might like a representation, however, see it not being a better fit because in a multi system, it allows a multi party system allows for full representation or rather broader representation of diverse interests within a society. It provides a platform for various political ideologies, social groups, and interest organizations to participate in the political process so that their voices can be heard, which leads to a more inclusive, diverse, and democratic state. I agree with her because let's bear in mind that one of the characteristics of a two party system is that other third parties may become obscure. And in a democratic country, each and every party is openly displayed to the public, giving the society an, a right to vote for the party that represents their ideas and values. A multi-system, a multi-party system, on the other hand, develops, cultivates, and institutionalizes democracy. Can I really disagree with what has been stated so far? Looking at how developed countries with two party systems are, countries like USA and the Malta, it is very clear that the representatives in those countries knows how to lead and manage the country's resources very well. Instead of South Africa, which is a multi party system, but yet the party that represents the people is always trending for the abominable events. Looking at how they squandered the COVID 19, Funds, which was like 500 million, the Palapala Saga, and so on. Let's not forget that those countries you have mentioned, the US and Malta, were never under the apartheid system. The apartheid system is the reason why South Africa is, is experiencing such aggravating social circumstances, such as unemployment, poverty, inequalities, and racial division. Therefore, the introduction of a new system will have a negative connotation on South Africa's fragile democracy. Contrary to a two-party system, the multi-party system promotes political participation and minimizes political polarization. It gives 
people freedom to align themselves with the political parties that embraces their ideological aspirations. Thus, promotes high level of representational government with a system of participatory governance, especially in the decision making. Uh, let's bear in mind that South Africa is dominated by tribal clans with different judicial aspirations. Therefore, in a multi party, they will not be constrained to align themselves with a political party that embraces the ideological aspirations. Okay, I hear what everyone is saying when they are supporting the multi party state. But then there is a point that Nico said that I will have to agree with. She stated that in the party state, we find that the resources are managed well and the fact that, and I believe that it's because of the kind of leadership they have. Where we find Hori, oh, the candidate that are running for office are qualified and that their occupation, their previous occupations show that. I believe that if we South that we have art, are going to take on the two party system, it will be good for South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our podcast. And as you have seen, there are different views as to which system would enhance South Africa's development. Others are saying a two-party system it is, but others are saying the country's current system is best. For me, I say that if we agree on the current system being best, then the government has to first work on itself internally before going externally. Stay tuned for round two of this topic during the class presentation. Thank you.